In this video, I wanna talk about the concept of evidence of absence and how something that isn't actually there can be what you're actually looking for. So let's dive into it today. And if you haven't already, make sure to press the subscribe button as you'll be updated immediately when videos just like this come out. So reading anti-fragile skin in the game and a few of Nassim Talib's ideas, I really got the hang of understanding his whole concept behind evidence of absence. So now what evidence of absence is, it's, it's quite literally evidence pointing to nothing being there. And this happens a lot when it comes to the medical culture because so often when you're trained to look for something, right? Charlie Munger always says, for every man with a hammer, there's a nail that he's looking for, or vice versa, if you have a hammer, you're always looking for a nail. What often happens is we have people who are looking to do something, right? A doctor is looking for something, a disease, something bad. When you look for an impurity in something, you often don't realize when the absence of it is actually evidence for there not being any of it. This is a concept that we really need to take into mind because one of the high leverage skills of heightened living is to understand that sometimes you're not gonna see anything and that is a result in itself. This happens all the time. People look for something, they don't find anything, and they end up pursuing it over and over again, spinning their wheels until they magically create some type of results that show something that shouldn't actually have been shown or proven because of the fact that they dug until a point where they could maybe say that something actually came out of it. In Anti-Fragile, Nassim Talib talks about how they did an experiment where they brought all these kids to uh, tonsillectomy doctors and they asked how many of them needed tonsillectomies. So the first group went to the doctors and they said like 40 of them needed it. So the remaining group went to another doctor, they said another 40, and it kept going until literally every kid needed tonsillectomies. Well, tonsillectomies in any surgery on kids does have a rate of death that is pretty high. So these doctors, not purposely, but because they're just looking for something that's wrong, were accidentally killing these kids because if the first doctor didn't see anything wrong with the other group of kids that didn't have to need the tonsillectomy. And then he kept bringing these kids to doctors over and over again until all of them said that they needed it. It's because the doctors are looking solely for a disease, solely for something bad. That's why we don't have healthcare, we have sick care. And sick care quite literally is looking for something wrong with you, right? Anytime you go or you think something is wrong, wait it out before you go to a doctor because the doctor is going to tell you something's wrong. Whereas it might not actually be wrong. You should allow your body to use its natural healing processes. The placebo effect is one of the strongest things in the world. And often most drugs actually work because we're already tricking ourselves into thinking that they're going to work. Evidence of absence is something that pops up so much. How often do you look for what's not there? How often do you subtract habits? Because maybe one, maybe adding new habits is actually going to make it harder for you to get to where you want to go. We need to think in this mindset that not always finding results or seeing something is the positive element of what you know, life is about. For instance, the scientist that goes his whole life never finding any conclusive results, right? It's always negative, it's always negative, feels like he failed. But in reality, he found so many things that were false that actually weren't true over and over and over again to the point where he should be celebrated because he's not actively doing something to try to be like, look, this result was true. Look, you need to do this. Look, blah, blah, blah. If we publish all the experiments that failed, we would then understand how the whole piece of the literature actually looks rather than this study said this, this study says yeah, this, and they both contradict each other, but where's all the studies that said neither of them actually work? What is this video actually about? Because I wanted this video to actually be a rant. It's a bit different, but it's just the concept of looking and understanding that when you don't find something, that is a result as well. Zero and one are the only two binary options in a computer, and they both actually contribute to what is the makeup of that computer? What happens with it? What does the code do? So finding those zeros is great because you understand what you can and can't do. You understand what works and what doesn't work. And sometimes in life, we see more zeros than we ever see ones, but we never take account those zeros and we only look for the ones. Look for the evidence of absence, find that and see it. That's it for this video today. If this helped you in any way or it opened your mind, give it a like. Make sure to subscribe so I can make more videos like this in the future and comment with something below that you've been thinking about that really is evidence of absence, but we often mistake it for absence of evidence. And I'll see you soon.